In this chapter, we're going to look at Perl's capabilities with regard to interaction with the file system. First of all, we're going to look at how Perl manages files and basic input-output. Then we're going to look at Perl's functions for managing directories. And finally, how Perl deals with other programs. One of Perl's greatest strengths is its ability to act as a glue between more powerful programs, allowing us to provide a platform to bring other programs together and let them interact through our Perl scripts. First of all, let's look at how we open up a file and read its contents. The open function allows us to do this. The first argument that we supply to the open function is the name of a file handle. And this name can be whatever we want. It's conventional to use all capitals, and that separates it from other kinds of elements such as variables or function names, packages, and so on. So we name our file handle, and then as a second argument, we provide the name of the file in the file system that we're using the file handle as a reference to. Because we haven't included any kind of path here, we can assume that the file that we're reading from is in the same directory as the Perl script that we're running. We haven't used any round brackets around the arguments to the open function, but we could do. That's a matter of preference in this case. With our next line, we're using a for each loop. And whereas before, we've used a for each loop to loop over the elements within an array, here we're looping over the lines within our file. And we're using the file handle to do this. You'll notice the greater and lesser than signs on either side of the file handle. This is known as the diamond operator, and they tell Perl to look for each line of the file. The lines, of course, are separated by new line characters. So every time Perl hits the new line character, when it's examining the contents of the file, then it takes that to be a new line. So for each of the lines within the file that we're referencing through the file handle, we carry out a certain block of statements. In this case, we're just printing out each line of the file. You'll notice that in other instances, we've used the print function within a loop like this. And even though we've used the default variable, we've also had to output a new line character. In this case, because each of the lines of the file are separated by a new line anyway, we don't need to include a new line character. Printing another new line character would put an extra line between each line of the file. Once we've used our file handle and we're completely finished with the reading the contents of that file, we should close the file handle. And this saves our system resources. We do this by using the close function, and that just takes one argument, the file handle that we're closing. 